Rennie and Paris is sponsored by Mercy. Your life is our life's work. Well, this morning, if you can believe it, we are halfway through the Paris Olympics already. But you know, win or lose, competing for the gold can really take a toll on your body and your mind. I can only imagine. Our Ready Not is joining us live from Paris to help explain how one local athlete made a very difficult decision this weekend to protect his racing future, Rennie. Yeah. I don't know if it was difficult. I think it was actually a smart decision. Freddie Crittenden, who hails from North County, didn't feel great coming out of the box yesterday during the men's 110 meter hurdles. So he decided to jog his way to the finish line. He finished dead last in his heat. And keep in mind, he's one of the top five hurdlers in all of the world. But by doing this, he allowed himself the opportunity to get a second chance at advancing in the event. That will take place tomorrow. Um, he also wanted to make sure that he honored those who came before him. You know, in America, it's really, really hard to make this team, you know. So it's a privilege and an honor, and I definitely cherish being here. And I would I would discredit everybody else that competed for this spot if I don't give myself the best possible opportunity. And I definitely wasn't going to throw it away. Like, I'm 30 years old. I'm one of the old heads now in the sport, so I'm not throwing away this chance. And I'm, I'm going to fight to, to, the, to, to the last bit for everything that I get. <laughs> Oh, boy. Freddie had me laughing yesterday when he called himself an old head, considering I'm twice his age. Um, but his decision yesterday is one that has a lot of people now focused on the mental health of our athletes. Remember what Simone Biles went through back in the games that took place in Tokyo. So it is very important for all of these athletes to understand that it's okay not to be okay, and they're working on making themselves better. I go to therapy. I really advocate for that. Um, and just utilize that source. It's been a complete help with me throughout my journey with my mom and track and field at the same time. People on the outside looking in, they don't realize the pressures that the athletes are going through. And so dealing with you could be the best in the world and you're dealing with an injury. That's not something that you adapt to on a daily basis. It's like how do I how do I adjust? Here these are the Olympic Games. I went through that. Now, coming up tomorrow on Today in St. Louis at 6 a.m., we'll hear more from the great JJK. She's got a great story about how she doesn't want anyone to break her record anytime soon. I'll tell you about that. Coming up in just a bit here this morning, I'm going to show you all the trendy stories happening in the world of sports in the city of Paris. Reporting live from Paris, I'm Renny Knott. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks so much, old head.